In this section, we're going to talk about image quality improvements. Brian, tell me about the new sensor. So this is Canon's new third generation CMOS sensor. It gives us 10 million pixels and an improved dynamic range. Right, what sort of an increase in dynamic range have we got? So the dynamic range increases around about a stop more than previous products. And we also have the ability for highlight tone priority mode to move the uh, range of tones towards the highlight balance. Is this an interblown highlights then? I think photographers will still manage to achieve blown highlights, but what this will give them is much greater uh, gradation in those highlight areas. So it, the 14-bit signal gives us the ability to record uh, much more into the highlight zone, so they can expose further to the right, perhaps, but it gives gradation to allow you to render wedding scenes, ski scenes in phenomenal detail. I see this camera has now got dual processors. Yeah, it has a two-digit three processors that work in parallel. That helps it to achieve the high-speed processing of images. So when you're shooting at 10 frames per second, it can deal with a picture and put it back in the buffer fully processed before you can take the next shot. It also gives us the ability to process all those pictures at 14-bit data, gives us the highest level of quality and it also helps us with that increased dynamic range. As a bonus, the dual digit 3 processors gives us a high quality of images and less noise than we've ever seen in before. I only ever shoot in RAW, so what's all this S RAW about? So the small RAW gives us a 2.5 megapixel image, and the file size is about half that of a full-size RAW image. So transmission is a lot quicker. That's correct. 